What is happening, my friends? Vitaly Dubin is here, founder of Bitcoin's Wall Club, and welcome to another episode of Today in Crypto Show, where I'm discussing what the heck is going on in this crazy volatile crypto markets and how you can profit from it. And this beautiful Monday morning, we are seeing a pretty big dump in the crypto markets. That, as you know, happens from time to time. The market is dipping. After a couple days ago, Elon Musk has tweeted that he stopped accepting Bitcoin. Tesla company stopped accepting Bitcoin for Tesla due to environmental concerns. And then after his recent tweets, it was also on question and speculation whether Tesla or not sold its stash of $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin that took the Bitcoin absolutely crushing over the past several days and this morning and also Ethereum and the entire crypto markets is bleeding right now because of Elon Musk. He's getting a lot of criticism, a lot of hate from the crypto expert community right now. And um, also I want to remind you guys that first of all, those type of dips, those types of market conditions, it is exactly the best opportunities that you can find, right? Uh, because they don't happen that often, okay? And when we had the worst crash in the history of Bitcoin, which was exactly when coronavirus has started and announced in the world, and Bitcoin crashed by 50% in one single day, that was the best time that you can possibly buy in long Bitcoin, right? So when Bitcoin crashed to 3000 something dollars. So now let's take a look at what's going on fundamentally right now in the market. Uh, does it really changes anything? And uh, breaking news that today, this morning, Musk actually confirmed that Tesla did not sell any Bitcoin, okay? and he is not intending to sell any Bitcoin. So that's good news that started to pump the Bitcoin back up. So let's take a look at the market, guys. The market has been crazy. <laughs> you know, we've been pumping and pumping and going up and, and pumping. And right now we are experiencing something that I actually has been anticipating. Like I warn you guys, I told you guys, listen, it is going to happen. We're going to have a dump at one point or another. Like I thought it was going to be sooner for both Bitcoin and Ethereum. And actually, I, I didn't think Bitcoin will dump that far and as well as Ethereum. But we did experience pretty heavy dump. Uh, and the question is, are we going to dump even further or are we going to go up right now? Let's take a look at Bitcoin, guys. And um, Bitcoin has a peak currently at $64,000. And according to one indicator, um, it actually is the peak. But other indicators are telling us that it is not the peak, that we have so much room to grow. We're going to take a look at this. What's important to see right now unfolding, and not a beautiful picture on a weekly uh, where actually we have dipped below the 21 weeks moving average, which in the bull market, it doesn't happen. We do not go below the 21 weeks moving average in the bull market. If you take a look at the 2017 bull market, you can clearly see that, uh, if you take a look, take away of the ribbon, you can see that we have been touching but not dipping below the 21 week moving average here we're just dipping uh, not even like literally like that that's not closing below the 21 weekly moving average we're going down as much as this but getting back up we're not closing below the 21 week moving average the first time we close below the 21 week moving average was on the 29th of January 2018 and we, we got a little bit above it and then continue 
going below this line for multiple 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 weeks for about a year and a half until we finally cross this line on the 25th of march 2018 when the bull market started right uh and then it was le heading to the halving event there was a coronavirus crash a black swan event and uh we didn't see bitcoin that low about four three thousand nine hundred dollars uh ever since right so right for right now for the first time in a long time uh we have actually closed above uh, below below the 21 weeks moving average which which is not that good right let's be honest about it <laughs> it's not good <coughs> that we are closing below the 21 weeks moving average it's a first sign possibly possibly of the scenario that we do not want that we do not like to see that unfolding that actually actually uh, we start in the bear market and this is the question that everyone in the crypto community uh, is thinking you know where is that where is that top and whether we reach the top or not now uh, I would argue and I will show you that we have not reached the peak just yet that we have still room to grow to a hundred and hundred twenty thousand dollars for Bitcoin and this is just a period of, of dip and cool off and one of those dips that uh, we have seen in 2017 right uh, if you measure actually the price range from uh, the peak here to the dip it is going to be roughly 34 percent correction right which we have seen those type of corrections 34 percent in uh, before we have seen those corrections back in 2017 uh, multiple times actually multiple times here is a correction for example here you see this correction it's about 38 percent or something like that uh, 30 38 percent correction here is another correction of uh, 35 37 percent and we continue going higher so this correction can be no different than the other corrections that we have experienced previously right but it is a bit concerning that we are closing for the first time in many 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 weeks below the 21 weeks moving average uh, ethereum also has dumped heavily heavily uh, from the high of four thousand three hundred and fifty dollars all the way to three thousand one hundred and forty dollars uh, which is uh, about 28 percent correction right it's pretty crazy for uh, ethereum and the ethereum followed the dump of uh, of bitcoin the question is whether right now we're going to see even lower price for ethereum and go to twenty eight hundred dollars possibly or three thousand around this range or was this the lowest point here for ethereum and we are going to continue heading higher to break the previous all-time high we're going to discuss all of that but first man elon musk elon musk right he was on the news all over this week last week uh, essentially took the bitcoin price down after this comment by mr whale the bitcoiners are going to slap themselves next quarter when they find out tesla dumped the rest of their bitcoin holdings with the amount of hate elon musk is getting i wouldn't blame him on on which he tweeted indeed now the question is was his tweet indeed about that he dumped the rest of his bitcoin holdings or about the hate that elon musk is getting and that was the question uh, that people did not know all right and uh, the corporations and companies and based on that tweet they continue to dump the market early this morning right uh, until reaching the low the low point for Bitcoin 43,000 or something and um, 
uh, just a couple hours ago uh, he clarified okay he clarified that Tesla has not sold any Bitcoin okay uh, he actually had it a little bit a couple hours ago here on the 17th of May uh, to clarify speculation Tesla has not sold any Bitcoin and based on this tweet alone Bitcoin price started to recover and regain because uh, if if Tesla would have sold all of the Bitcoin he confirmed it, um, then the the moment in time that Tesla has bought Bitcoin was about thirty three thousand dollars we could have seen Bitcoin drop all the way to thirty three thousand dollars if Tesla indeed would sell all, all of the Bitcoin that was in the worst case scenario right so that's pretty scary but uh, he he um, clarified this morning that Tesla has not sold all of his Bitcoin but it's a, it's a huge stash 1.5 billion back at a time it's about 40 something thousands of bitcoins right um, so how much power Elon Musk has just one man right a lot of companies follow him right is uh, millions of followers in the the big guys with a lot of money he's following him so his comments about uh, Bitcoin not being uh, environmentally friendly and the cold usage for Bitcoin that caused a lot of turmoil in the crypto community that started to defend the miners and um, all kinds of indications and reports saying hey it's actually gold and and other things consume more more energy and Bitcoin is actually good for the environment for the long term um, that it helps the world so much right essentially uh, he almost like shooting himself in the foot right he bought a lot of Bitcoin his company holds a lot of Bitcoin and uh, he was all about Bitcoin uh, and now all of a sudden hey Bitcoin is not you know we cannot accept Bitcoin it's not sustainable for the energy and he's like and he also said hey cryptocurrency experts ever heard of PayPal it's possible maybe that I know more than you realize about how money works interesting right he was the one that co-founded PayPal and um, essentially uh, he received a lot of criticism <laughs> for uh, his recent behavior and not accepting Bitcoin and Michael Saylor replied since both Tesla and Bitcoin fans believe technology can make the world a better place why don't we focus on going to the moon together over a hundred million people think Bitcoin represents hope for the economic well-being of everybody on the planet right um, so Michael Saylor will you save the day will you save the day <laughs> uh, can one man have all this power right to move the markets and interesting the dogecoin he was pumping so much the the dogecoin uh, and actually he said that he, he's working with engineers about uh, improving dogecoin let's take a look at elon musk tweets right because they they do move the markets a lot as always don't panic say so don't panic here um, to be clear I strongly believe in crypt crypto but I can drive a massive increase in fossil fuel use especially coal. coal it's high time there was a carbon tax Tesla and Bitcoin okay so that that dumped the market that was a huge dump in the market and he tweeted do you want Tesla to accept Dodge right uh, pay attention to this 78% says yes <laughs> because they bought dogecoin on his tweets and some people made ridiculous amount of money on uh, on dogecoin right uh, it's crazy and um, it's actually putting his his uh, name and his all of these uh, developers for the dogecoin that nobody touched for years right now dogecoin is at uh, half a dollar half a dollar right now and if you take a look at the daily we did have a dump from uh, 70 cents it's 
something like that 70 cents all the way to 34 cents so that was a pretty big dump uh, in, in, in a span of several days of about 52 percent 52 percent crazy volatile what dogecoin is is a crazy volatile um, even more than bitcoin asset <laughs> all right so uh we have mark cuban challenging uh, elon musk right that uh, actually they're supporting the maps.com his company continue to accept bitcoin ethereum and doge because we know that replacing cold as a store of value will help the environment and uh, mike michael novogratz from the galaxy digital just released a report on bitcoin energy consumption detailing how it consumes less than traditional financial industries like the bank branches the banking systems the car networkers and the gold right and how much energy they consume versus bitcoin okay so that's uh, just to help understand uh and get a clear picture that hey bitcoin is not as bad as you know what gold industry is doing so uh what do we see right now man what do we see right now we have a pretty big dump right now bitcoin started to recover if you look at the at the two hourly candles you can see that we formed this beautiful w here on the rsi uh we do see a bullish divergence form forming right now uh the prices you can see have been going down and rsi has been actually going up you can see here uh, so that's a bullish divergence which means that it's a it may be a, a very very good opportunity to long bitcoin right now uh, as we would not see prices lower than this right and and this was the bottom i hope that this was the bottom the 42,650 nobody knows for sure but um, we can see that right now the the bulls are battling in uh, we broke this channel this uh, wedge uh, we broke it to the downside let's take a look at the four hourly candles see that uh, we had this uh, this long a uh, falling wedge over here and we broke significant support at about forty eight thousand dollars we did break it here and uh and the target for this if you measure like this and we broke it from 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 here to here okay and put it like this Thirty-four thousand dollars. That's a bearish scenario, <laughs> very bearish scenario that I actually don't see unfold. I don't see them fold. Uh, the market is still in the bullish uh, territory. If you look at the weekly, right, it's we're still creating higher lows, right? Higher lows. Actually, here, if you zoom in a little bit right now the week has not yet closed so we can easily close the week above and we created a higher low and we continue with our uptrend okay so uh that's essentially not a sign to panic okay it's not a sign sign to panic right now the entire industry guys the entire industry is uh, the crypto uh, Fear, uh, uh, the crypto fear and greed index right now we are in extreme fear we were in extreme euphoria and right now we are in extreme fear look at this extreme fear yesterday and now in fear see the market in fear and uh, we have been going down creating this huge you know the market structure we're going into a very low level 20 like extreme fear similarly to the coronavirus he was in even more fear back then okay and uh those are the times to buy to buy more when we are in fear and in extreme fear those are the times 
to buy the best times to buy when the market is in extreme fear remember that the best time to buy when the market is in extreme fear too long and to buy right but when everybody's selling you should be buying when everybody is buying you should be selling right but in the bull market you need to be bullishly biased and we are still in the bull market um, yes on the, on the daily we are kind of uh, you know going right now let's take a look at the daily you can see the bulls are battling in right now and uh, we did break below creating a lower low on the daily and um, looking at the BSI indicator one second uh, it is um, bearish you can see on a daily we are bearish and on four hourly we are bearish on two hourly we are still bearish on 15 minutes on 15 minutes we are bullish so maybe right now uh, is is the lowest that that we can go for for the bitcoin price but it is concerning it is concerning that's why the market is in fear right now that we may go even lower than this uh, as the target for this broken wedge is all the way to thirty-four thousand dollars, which would confirm, uh, if that is the case, that the bull market is over. But if you look at the uh, look into Bitcoin.com, you can see that essentially the market cycle charts. Um, we are not reached the peak yet. The two hundred week moving average, for example, we have not printed a red dot okay we are somewhere in the green territory but not in the red territory right here the stock to flow model suggests that we are not yet reached the peak okay we are not yet reached the peak and uh, we are essentially here you can see not in the green territory not in the green territory we are in the orange territory but not in the green so we have a lot of room to grow the pi cycle top indicator did suggest that it was at the top but the bitcoin logarithmic growth curves do suggest that uh, we have room to grow for the bitcoin price to go up and we have not reached the upper boundary okay for the bitcoin price so essentially guys you can see that the upper boundary right here is right around a hundred thousand a hundred twenty thousand dollars and we are somewhere above the middle right here we are above the middle so it's not too bad okay it's not too bad and we are on track we have seen a similar situation happen right here as uh, 2012 you can see we reached the middle right here 2013 we we were kind of struggling here during may may july august and then september november december it was crazy 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 months crazy 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 months okay so we might see something like that happen we maybe even deepen below this average of 40 45 dollars and going lower and then the uh, last couple of months will have explosive move to a hundred thousand dollars right so uh, yeah that's uh that's what's happening right now that you need to realize norwegian billionaire also the oil mogul says bitcoin becoming mainstream is inevitable elon musk comments haven't changed anything he supports uh he supports bitcoin uh yeah look at look at these comments Please use this Elon Musk, Durex. <laughs> That's Elon Musk versus Bitcoin. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, it's, an, it's, it's been insane, it's been insane. Use more of this. <laughs> oh man, oh man, it is crazy. It is crazy. Let's take a look here. 
again what's going on on a two hourly again we might go all the way back to forty seven forty eight thousand dollars that now serves as a resistance so be careful going long right now because um, you know the previous support level broke down and now the previous support can easily uh, be a resistance right and we may bounce it back from here from forty eight thousand dollars and go even lower to thirty nine thirty eight thousand so be careful about that uh, we are in an immediate short-term pain right now for the entire market and uh, it is it is what it is you kind of need to um, hold through it take a deep breath take a deep breath hold through it and um, everything is going to be all right it just buy the dip buy the dip right we didn't know it's going to be that big of a dip like this was a, a head and shoulder situation unfolding here that did play it out on a two hourly and uh, we can say easily you know for the as, as ethereum has been going up so much that uh, this point here was the top at 3800 for example and go short but then it went to all the way to four thousand three hundred dollars and fifty right so it is quite dangerous to short in the bull market in the bullish market uh but i warn you guys that there'll be a dump there will be a dump and it did happen it did happen a pretty big dump but look at this if we close the day like this with a huge massive week like this that will be insane that will be insane okay that will mean that ethereum can bounce very soon back to thirty eight hundred dollars and four thousand dollars very very quickly and the market is going to be buying um, Ethereum, right? Uh, with anticipation of the hard fork. But I see the situation with Ethereum as short term, short lived. Uh, I still see Ethereum going to $5,000. You can see the weekly candle like this, clo closing like this, would be absolutely massive, massive, massive for Ethereum and can propel it to much 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 bigger levels right so i'm very positive about well, ethereum the bulls to be stepping in right now in this moment and propel very very soon ethereum to new heights to new levels just ultra bullish on ethereum and, and those type of situations the market dips uh, are are to take advantage of after this tweet that elon musk has actually did not sell any of his bitcoin uh, i see the bitcoin price recovering right now ethereum price recover and uh, as you can see insane opportunity uh, unfolding right from 3100 to 3500 we are already up if if you were able to catch this bottom it's about 11 uh, percent right and uh we can we can start bouncing here the moment you see on the two hourly we have not even touched this level right here after we if we're going to essentially be rejected here we can go down but if we can break this level three thousand six hundred and fifty dollars and continue going is three thousand seven hundred seventy dollars and stay above it then the trend is going to change but right now the trend is clearly on the downside and uh, we might see a resistance points for ethereum at about three thousand six hundred and fifty us dollars and uh, reject from here and go lower okay so bear that in mind that we have broken a significant resistance a support level that now becomes a resistance so to summarize guys this is not time to panic it is not the time to panic absolutely not okay you need to be patient and take a look at this and and buy those dips buy those dip opportunities if you can find those if you can uh put a limit order or if you can catch in them live you know buying those deep opportunities three thousand a hundred dollars three thousand two hundred dollars 
that was a crazy buying opportunity okay uh, taking advantage of those market swings i know it's not easy and if you are right now in a loss a lot of people are in a loss right now uh, with this market that we have right now but don't worry it is temporary i see it as a temporary deep opportunity uh which happened multiple times during 2017 bull market and we still have a lot of room to grow up uh, elon musk has not sold all of his bitcoin he's holding on to his bitcoin maybe bitcoin mining is going to improve with renewable energy all right and then uh, uh, bitcoin price uh, you know elon musk will start accepting bitcoin yet again yet again um so yeah that was a little update for you guys uh, hope that you are doing fantastic and uh, you have a great mood and that uh, those type of market conditions gets you excited and you are taking advantage of those opportunities those deep opportunities to buy the coins cheaper right buy the coins cheaper um to experience those gains later on because this is how when when the market is in fear when everybody when everything is going down this is the time not to panic but to analyze pay attention and to buy those dips as long as it has not been proven that we are in a bear market okay we are in a bull market and we are in a bull market still okay nothing has changed all right and this is just a dip and we are still in the bull market it's not a bear market just yet it's not been proven that it is a bear market absolutely not so yes we may consolidate when we may go down a little bit but um fundamentally we are not in the bear market just yet okay and uh when we are going to be in a bear market you will know it <laughs> but of course it will be too late you don't want to be the last of the party to sell the last right but uh that is that is not the time yet to panic not the time yet to panic all right and hold on to your position by those dips and uh everything will be fine right so hopefully it was helpful for you uh this update subscribe to the youtube channel to stay up to date uh, to our facebook community bitcoins wealth club we are in the process of creating a new system uh, for uh essentially uh, our bitcoins wealth club community starting from scratch so if you guys uh, when we launch and want to join my movement uh, you'll know about it uh, somewhere in august september we're planning to launch it and it's going to be super super cool so i'm looking forward to it very very excited and with that being said have a fantastic monday and the rest of your week and i will see you soon